delivering software to the environments is always a challenge. I'll introduce you to GitOps approach that Portainer has to reduce that complexity. GitOps is secure, error prone, and most importantly, easily repeatable way of deploying applications in Kubernetes. I'll be using latest 2.10 Portainer Business Edition. First, let's have a look at the Kubernetes manifest I have stored in the Git repo. It's a simple application. Let's deploy that into the Kubernetes cluster. Creating from manifest, picking up non-default namespace, suitable application name, specifying the git repo URL and the path to our Kubernetes manifest. We'll turn off the authentication since the repo is public. And here, important bit, will enable automatic updates so uh, the Kubernetes deployment stays in sync with what we have in our Git repo. Deploy check. Okay, so it's getting deployed. Let's update that um, in our Git repo. So as you see, it has the stable tag on the image of BusyBox. And let's update that to latest and see if these changes are getting propagated to our Kubernetes deployment and to Portainer instance. It's latest now, we have committed that. And let's wait for it to become not stable, but latest. Cool, now it's stable. So the changes got propagated to the Kubernetes deployment and got indicated in my Portainer instance. By the way, it works not only in Kubernetes, but also with Docker Compose, Docker, Azure container instances, and any container-based environment. While it is important to deliver software quickly, it might be tricky to set up and maintain these kind of systems. With Portainer, it comes at no cost. It's a perfect place to start your journey into automated deployments with GitOps. For now, for you to try out. We have a special offer of Portainer Business Edition 3 for workloads up to 5 nodes. Come and get it!